In today's video, I'm talking about how in marriage, there's gonna be ups and downs. So in today's message, I'm talking about rounding up instead of rounding down. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man you have a lot of worldly people that struggle in marriage because their marriage is not done under the order you know under the hierarchy that the most high Yah established you know and you have even in righteousness, you have uh, marriages that struggle, but these are going to be the marriages that are uh, standing the test of the tribulations that you will face, you know, in the union of marriage. And Hasatan will attack you a lot harder when you are married because you are doing what is the will of the Most High Yah. And if you're somebody out here sexually active and single, you're being sexually immoral and fornicating, which is uh, defiling yourself. So he's not really going to attack you too much there. You know, man, when we look at the current statistics of divorce, fit, over 50 percent of, of marriages end in divorce. Out of those divorces, 70 percent are filed by women, 90 percent if these women are educated. You know, statistically, a man can be unhappy and still fulfill his duty of marriage, you know, without uh, going down to the family court system, tearing apart a marriage. You know, men statistically are able to round up when things are going bad. They're able to round up and, like I said, uh, rejoice through that tribulation that they're currently going through in marriage. But for all of the women out there, when we look at those statistics of how fast a woman will tear her house down because of unhappiness and will stop fulfilling her marital duties because she thinks the grass is greener on the other side, this is where I wanna tell you a lot of women round down. Things are actually not that bad in the marriage. They round down, go down there and, and tear down the family, tear down the house. The word says a wise woman builds her house, but the foolish woman plucks it down. A lot of women go down there and, and uh, file this paperwork, you know, and they think they are going to be happier on the back end and happiness is, is temporary. There's nothing about fulfilling the will of Yah that your flesh is going to like. He tells you to rejoice through the tribulations. When you are in your most uh, painful moments of life, he's expecting you to rejoice. He doesn't ask for your happiness. And this is why I say you have to have the mindset to round up. Okay. Today, man, you know, today feels like a, 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 a 50% day. You know, I'm not getting what, uh, you know, is supposed to be done in marriage, but I'm going to round up. I'm going to round up to count this day as good. Versus if you round down, you catastrophize and make it worse. You make it worse. You blow situations that uh, potentially might only last for a day or for a week. You make permanent uh, emotional decisions because you round down. You never hunt the good stuff. Rounding up is about saying, hey, we've had some good times, some bad times, and all you know, all things come and go. There, there's a season for all of that. You know, and if your house is out of order, meaning uh, the woman is not submitted to the man, the man is not submitted to Messiah, you know, you're going to have some problems. And the word talks about uh, the sanctified wife sanctifying the husband, the sanctified husband sanctifying the wife. But somebody's going to have to demonstrate sanctification. Somebody's going to actually have to be anointed in that house. And this is why I tell you, get in the mindset of rounding up. 
things don't go your way, round up. A woman, you don't, as a woman, you don't get your way. You was hoping to. And your husband says, nope, it's not happening like that. Round up for your sake to keep the family intact, to make sure you have a covering. I got plenty of videos on this channel where women have been, been, been smiling when they get that divorce and going through the process and wanting the court of public opinion to support them. But as soon as that ink dry on that paper, about a month later, man, they're out regretting their decision because they round it down instead of rounding up. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.